I'm in my kitchen right now because I just got back from the Minneapolis farmer's market and I got some really nice, very interesting things that I want to share because I just find it very fascinating when other people share what they buy, especially at farmer's markets because a lot of the times there are things that you wouldn't be able to find in many other places. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I got. So enjoy. <laughs> All right. The first thing I got from the farmer's market is this dip from Dina's Gourmet and they were they had three samples sitting out there and they also were running a back to school special so it was a dollar off all of their dips and I went with the Bloody Mary dip. It is a little bit zesty and all around just delicious. They had it on crackers for a sample and it was just so good. I can almost imagine having it on like a wrap or with veggies or chips and Oh my gosh, I thought this just tasted so stinking good. So I got that. And then next I got, let's see, it is this wild rice bratwurst, which I had never seen wild rice bratwurst. Very intrigued by it. It's from Uchette's Homegrown Pork. And it was only $6.50, which I thought was a pretty good price for being kind of a more high-end sausage type. Christopher and I usually eat a good amount of um, cased meats. So I thought this one looked like a really good one to try. And okay, so next I got, this is going to be kind of random, but I got a cookie. It was, it's from Mon Petit Chéri and it's a birthday cake cookie. It looks like a party. Like seriously, it's so soft and I'm really excited to try this. I'll probably eat it probably tonight. Looks really good. Sprinkles. I mean, I tell you what, if it, something has sprinkles on it, I'm usually all game for it. So, yum. And next I got a whole case of this Minnesota grown spring mix of, of greens. And it's, it even has, and these are not printed on here, these are actual edible flowers in here. But they have, I think they have like six different types of greens. And I think it was $4 for this entire box, which I thought was a pretty good deal. They stuffed this to the brim, so I'm pretty pumped to have this in salads and uh, maybe in a wrap. I'm probably going to have a lot of wraps soon because they just sound really good right now. And with this kind of green, I think it'd be really delicious as a nice contrasting texture. And I'm really intrigued to try the flowers. I think I'm really going to give them a go. Um, I've never had edible flowers. I've seen them, never eaten them, but... So we'll see, could be fun. And next I got a bag of kind of fancy tortillas that were handmade. I don't remember the stand that makes them, so that's a bummer. And they kind of like match texturally to my countertop, so that's kind of interesting. But um, they are, I think they're some sort of chili flavoring of some kind in the, in the mix. So I thought this would be really good with tacos. Again, good with wraps. I just think it, because it's already seasoned, it'd be a good base for really any kind of concoction I want to throw in there. So typically I usually buy just pretty plain Jane tortillas, but I thought this one looked like so much fun. At the stand that they sell them at, they have so many different flavors as well. So this is just the one that I thought would be the most useful right now since Christopher and I are also gigantic taco fans. So pretty excited about that. Um, and then next I got some, here, let me see if I can, yes, there they are. These are the tiniest, cutest little eggplant guys I've ever seen. And I just really, if you know me at all, you know I like miniature versions of things. So these kind of caught my attention because they're so tiny and cute. Like, look at that. So cute. And um, they have a beautiful color. And I'm probably just going to chop the tops off and um, roast them. But also, when I asked the vendor what she would recommend to do with them, she said some people just cut off the tops and scoop out the centers and put like some sort of filling in there, like either meat or or any kind of thing, like kind of like a um, baked pepper or roasted pepper. So, or stuffed pepper, that's what I mean to say, stuffed pepper. So I might try that too. I have a whole bag of them. This is just a small amount of what I got, but I thought these were really fun. 
and I'd never seen them that small before, so I was hooked. Finally, the last item I got was a bouquet of flowers. Maybe like the coolest bouquet I'd seen there. So they actually had a lot of really beautiful flowers at the farmer's market, but these just caught my eye because I thought the color scheme was very pretty and had a little bit of the burgundy. So it had nice like depth of color and then the really bright whites. And I love the shape of these flowers. I don't even know what these are, but they look like little trumpets. Um, very cute and I love the greenery and like this one I think is so cute too. I just love the shape of the leaves. They smell amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I have flowers in our apartment again. It's been so long. And that concludes the uh, stuff I got from the farmer's market. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, what have you bought that you liked at farmer's markets recently or just any old market in general? Uh, I'd love to know. Um, let me know in a comment below and happy eating, happy weekend, happy everything. Bye.